Welcome back, everyone. Thank you all so much for being here, and welcome to the first ever episode of Storytime. Um, this is just something I've been looking forward to doing for a while. I think it's cool to be able to kind of deep dive a little bit further into to getting to know me a little bit more, <clears throat> you know, than just a, just a face reacting to your wonderful country. <laughs> um, but I thought it would be a just a cool concept to do. So we'll, we'll see how this goes and see if you guys like it. And, and we'll, uh, we'll try more, you know, later down the road if, if, if you guys enjoyed enough. So today's first episode is, you know, what made me want to get into exploring other countries. Now, I kind of talked about it a little bit in my very first video I did, you know, welcoming, hey, I'm breaking the ice, this is why I'm doing this channel. Um, but I also, oh, got a little dark there. <laughs> um, I wanted to deep dive a little bit more into it and and kind of give you just a little bit of a backstory of, of how I got into doing this and, and what made me want to do it. So um, I'll be honest with you, I didn't script it, didn't bullet point it. This is just me being to you, authentic, just, so I might ramble a little bit, I might blabber, but that's about as authentic as I can be because I'm not a, I'm not a script guy. If I do, I just, I just talk like this and I just don't want to be that. So, <laughs> um, so I can really break it down for you in a, in a multitude of ways. You know, what made me want to explore other countries? So the first and foremost is, is media, video games and movies. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> growing up, I, I either watched my father and or got my hands on some games, you know, like Call of Duty, Medal of Honor, you know, um, this is early in life. These are games that, you know, allowed me, they were World War II shooters at the time. <clears throat> they allowed me to see, you know, different parts of the world that I wasn't exposed to yet at that point in life. You know, keep in mind when these games came out, I was like eight or nine. So I wasn't at that point in, in history and in world history um, in school yet. Um, but I was able to play these games and just see different areas and, and the battles that took place and the destruction that happened. And and I love history, you know what I mean? I love to sit down and do research on this stuff. So when I played these, I was able to, to go online and, and get books and just and see these, you know, like cities just fully destroyed by bombings or, I, you know, I don't know. I don't want to, I don't have to go ahead and in, into detail. But, you know, what, what fascinated me was the vastness of the environments, you know. Europe looked different than Japan. Japan looked different than the Philippines. The Philippines looked different than Africa, and Africa looked different than, you know, I guess Europe is, or Italy is technically Europe. I was going to say Italy, but you get what I'm saying. It's like all these different battles that took place, and it was just a, a variety of different lands, and I just was kind of fascinated by it, you know. And then uh, later on in life with, like, video games, you know, I played some of the Assassin's Creed games, and, and uh, you know, they have you exploring, I guess the term's medieval. It's, you know, 14, 15 yada yada century at the time um, that I was playing them games uh, they have you exploring the, all these cities you know like Florence and you know when you're running on the rooftops in Florence and you're running on the Colosseum in Rome and, and then you're exploring the American Revolution and you're exploring you know Paris in the 1700s and the Caribbean in the 1700s and then London and then they, the newer games they have you going back to you know like when the Vikings were storming through England and the um, you're at the one game what was it uh, ancient Greece and ancient Egypt and it was like all these different lands and how they recreated them it got my brain a pumping and I was like wow this is this is really interesting you know and and they try to I mean the games aren't like authentic but they try to keep authentic languages and they try to you know keep authentic things that could have happened so excuse me they're almost teaching you things while you're playing and my mind was going I was just I, I was loving it so much and then 2020 happened and we all know what happened in 2020 and there's something about when there's something about oh man i had a long day at work i just want to go home i just i don't want to do anything tonight there's something about doing that and then there, and then when 2020 happened and they were saying no you can't move my mind was just no <laughs> i just want to go i just want to see the world you know and I, I told myself when we came out of lockdown and when we came, you know, when life became as much normal as we were going to see it be, that I was going to explore and I was going to see some of these places that I was reading in history books and playing in video games. And then like Lord of the Rings movies, you know, I mean, just seeing New Zealand and, 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 and when you do research on it, knowing that that is real, that's not CGI'd, that's not fake, you know, I mean, some of the cities and stuff were yes, but the landscapes when they're doing the the wide out shots and you see the fellowship running 
knowing that that is a real place and it's accessible whenever you want to pay this play the plane ticket and go you know what i mean it's just i made a promise to myself that i would see these places and i thought okay life of my gut I, you know work started back going crazy again so i got really busy i kind of put it to the side a little bit because you know work was hectic life was hectic i had a sister graduating a sister getting married um you know i had to recoup my funds and work was just absurdly busy so i kind of put it to the side and then last year i looked at it and said i am tired of stressing out over over work i'm tired of stressing out i want i want something different i want to be my own boss and then I remembered how I wanted to explore and how I wanted to see these places. And that's when I made the channel. And that's when I started doing videos. And that's when all of you guys came in here and just started being just the best. You guys are amazing. Um, I started exploring your countries. I started seeing things. And, you know, I learn a lot from the videos, but I learn a lot from your comments. And even if I don't respond to all the comments, I read them, you know. And I'm just... I'm just blown away, for one, by the generosity of everything, but for two, how vast these countries are, you know what I mean? And and I guess what I'm getting to is, is what made me want to explore these countries is I got tired of being in a rut. And I got tired of sitting in the same spot in life. And while I'm still here, kind of, I wanted to see more things. And I wanted to explore more of the world. And, you know, because you only get to live one time. You know what I mean? And, and God gave us an amazing planet to live on. And I wanted to see it. And I wanted to learn more about people. Because, you know, I also got tired of seeing stories about, you know, how ignorant people can be. And how, especially Americans, you know. how Well, to a point, it says that Americans are untraveled. But I don't think people quite concept how big the U.S. is. And how basically each state is like our own little countries. Because we are vastly different, but still the same. Um, but I wanted to... When I started looking into that, like, you know, they don't travel, they don't do this. And I was like, well, they're, they are kind of right. And I wanted to be different. So the reason I started this is because I just want to see this world, you know. He gave us a, an amazing planet that's beautiful and full of rich cultures and histories. And, and that's another thing is history. See, I'm blabbing. There's something like, okay, I, I'm at a bar right now, you know. It was built in 1194. Well, somebody in 1194 sat right where I'm sitting and, you know, drank their beer, or drank whatever, you know, and just the history, the differences in lives and just that kind of stuff just fascinated me. And, and I just want to do anyway, I'm blabbing. So that's kind of an idea. This is my first ever story time. Um, if this is something you guys enjoyed, I promise you I'll I'll tidy it up. I might even do just bullet points where I can kind of. OK go with this not a script because that's just not authentic for me and I like to be very authentic that's why my videos would never be professional but they'll be as best as I can do because I just like to be authentic with you guys and authentic with myself that's how I've always been you know I've always that's where we were raised you know be kind be honest you know be truthful be respectful but be authentic be real you know if, if, you do, if you're not liked you're not liked if you are you are and Hopefully you guys like me. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, that's pretty much it. You know, that's that's the main reason I want to do it. I just wanted to see. I just wanted to explore. I got tired of being trapped in a bubble, and this world is so vast and beautiful. And that's that's basically the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. And I'm very thankful for all you guys, because like I've said in in multiple videos, and, and even in this one, you guys are amazing. You guys are so nice. You're just so welcoming. You're willing to teach me everything. You willing to help me you know, recommendations with videos. And uh, I can't, I can't do this without you guys and for a multitude of reasons, obviously. So just thank you guys so much for all the support. And uh, yeah, if you guys, if you guys like this story time, let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you guys, you know, have a question for me, you know, let me know if I see it, I'll, I'll do my best to answer it as long as I can. Um, and if not, I'm, I'll, I might say, hey, you know, I'll answer this. I'm going to do it in another story time where you guys get to see where I'm from and some of my area around me. So um, thank you all so much for, for being here. Like the video if you haven't already. Consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already. And if you guys want to see a story time part two, let me know in the comments down below. But other than that, um, thank you guys so much and have a good day.